according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. As Jesus continued his journey to Jerusalem, he traveled through Samaria and Galilee. As he was entering a village, ten lepers met him. They stood at a distance from him and raised their voice, saying, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when he saw them, he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. As they were going, they were cleansed. And one of them, realizing he had been healed, returned, glorifying God in a loud voice. And he fell at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. He was a Samaritan. Jesus said in reply, Ten were cleansed, were they not? Where are the other nine? Has none but this foreigner returned to give thanks to God? Then he said to him, Stand up and go. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. People express gratitude in many different ways. I would like to tell you about a lady, how she expressed her gratitude. One day she took her grandson to the beach. When they got there, the young boy immediately ran out to the water and was splashing in the waves. All of a sudden, a huge wave came in and crashed down on the shore and swept the young boy out to sea, right in front of the grandmother. She was just distraught, got on her knees, clasped her hands, looked up to heaven and said, Lord, please, I've been a wonderful grandmother, a mother. I light candles to you every night. I've lived the kind of life that you would be proud of. Please, Lord, my grandson. And just then, another huge wave crashed onto the shore. And when it receded, lo and behold, there was her grandson completely drenched and with a big smile on his face. The grandmother, still on her knees with her hands clasped, cast her gaze back up to heaven and said, Lord, you know he was wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that was gratitude or not. But when positive things happen in a person's life, one of the first reactions is to show gratitude and give thanks. Now, all of us celebrate a birthday once a year. And the normal protocol is for friends and relatives to give us gifts, and if we're lucky, take us out to dinner. And because it is an annual occurrence and pretty much expected, what we normally do is give a nice thank you and maybe a hug and a kiss. Then there's times when people are acknowledged and honored for some achievement in their lives. A good example of this is the Academy Awards. When the envelope is opened and the person's name is called out, the winner is pretty surprised. I mean, they had a one in five chance, but they're still pretty surprised. And they go up to the podium, and what they do to show their gratitude is they thank countless numbers of people for what they have done in their lives. Now the third one is, is kind of hard to describe. This is when a person is given a gift for no apparent reason, completely unexpected. There was a television show in the late 50s called The Millionaire. Does anybody recall that show? And we know the premise of that, right? Uh, anonymous benefactor gave someone a check for a million dollars, a complete stranger. Someone that they had never seen before. So, how does someone show their gratitude and give thanks in that situation? Well, we can say, okay, what were the actions of the person after they received the money? Did they strive to do their best to pass that good fortune on to others? Did it perhaps open their eyes that they saw the good in people? instead of the bad. Now God, He gives us gifts constantly. And these gifts are unexpected. And from our perspective, for no apparent reason, but God knows, believe me. 
And these gifts that God gives us is called grace. And grace is described as an unmerited gift. In other words, something that we did not earn. But God gave this gift to us out of his pure love for us. And God doesn't demand that we give thanks or anything in return. But what God does hope for is that we pass this gift along to others and utilize it in a positive way. Now sometimes people just don't fully understand or grasp the implications of grace. We read about the ten lepers. And out of the ten, only one returned to give thanks to God for the grace of healing. Uh, the Academy Awards. I don't recall ever, in all the years I've been watching the Academy Awards, someone go up to the podium and thank God first and foremost for giving them the talent to become such great actors and actresses. If we're not careful, we can just go through life thinking that we deserve grace. That somehow God just gave us this <coughs> salvation. That we did God a favor by choosing Him over the world. Now the reason that we can never have enough grace. And the reason that we can never sit in judgment of others is because that we were born into a world of sin. None of us received, none of us deserved a single drop of blood that was shed for us. It was grace, amazing grace that made it so. And God, He gives us grace in abundance. Because where there is so much sin in the world, we need all that grace that God gives us. And our need for grace will never be exceeded by God's capacity to give it to us. I would like to read to you a few words of an old song that I feel really go to the heart of what grace is all about. And the words go like this. Where would I be? You only know. Lord, I'm glad you see through the eyes of love. I'd be a hopeless case in an empty place, if not for grace. Now, I asked you earlier, how do we thank God for the grace that he bestows upon us? And one of the ways that I think is by coming here every week to church and worshiping God and praising His name.